Welcome to another Ecom Dudes video. And in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about creating ads for influencers. And if you're not familiar with what influencers is, take a look in the description because we're gonna be uh, going ahead and listing out every single thing you need to know when it comes down to influencers. So I'm gonna hand it over to Anthony right now and he's gonna show you everything you need to know on how to create ads for your influencer marketing campaigns. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll pass it along to Anthony. I'll catch you soon. All right, everybody, Anthony Maslone here, and I want to talk to you guys about creating ads for influencers. So now when we're creating an ad for an influencer, we already reached out to them and we have found our prospective influencers so they could have an engaging audience, click through to our link or to our new product that we're offering. And what we have to do is we have to present this in a fashionable way. Uh, it's all about aesthetics when you're talking about these Instagram ads because Instagram is a platform completely based on pictures and videos. It's all about visuals. So what we have to do here is we have to create something visually appealing and very aesthetic and nice that's going to be able to bring in sales and customers and something that's going to catch someone's attention and look good and drive sales. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with lucrative ad copy. So now first thing you want to do is you want to make your audience take action. So you're going to use things like get yours now or a limited time offer. Something that's going to bring a little bit of urgency to the table and that's going to want them to purchase. So you're going to use colorful adjectives and you're going to really explain whatever you have on the table, whatever you're offering. And when you're doing a free pl uh, plus shipping, you can just say just pay shipping. So there's a few things to take into consideration on your ad because it all comes down to whatever is going into the ad. And this comes from the picture itself, uh, the ad quality by the, by the way, the picture, uh, the picture quality, and then also your ad copy. So ad copy is very, very important because you don't want to come off in a way that's not going to be appealing to your customers. You don't want to sound spammy. You don't want to sound like you're trying to rip someone off. You want to make sure that you're saying that there is a great offer on the table and something that someone can approach and purchase now for a good offer and a limited time. So something that's going to make them take action. Now, what are we going to do to create this ad in the visual itself? So we have a, uh, a few options here. One of them is uh, to send a sample to the, uh, to the influencer themselves. And now this is a great way to, uh, to utilize personal page influencers, uh, which is usually a face or an icon uh, associated with the page directly. So let's say it's a, uh, a celebrity or a popular blogger or model for a certain product, for example or uh, just really a face and icon just associated directly with the page. So with that, a very good option and route to go about is sending them a sample so that they can sport it themselves. So now when they do promote this product to their audience, you could uh, the, their audience could directly connect their product with this person that they idolize or go to for tips or knowledge and so on and so forth. These people that they follow on these social media platforms and always look to for whatever it is that they're following them for. So this is a good way to build that trust connection uh, between your product and uh, the audience that you're reaching out to itself because it uh, not only is the influencer posting about it, but people will see that they are directly associated with it, something that they represent and something that they stand for. So that's why I think that sending them a sample is very important. And we could also create a visual with uh, our product pictures. So uh, this is ideal for general uh, page influencers, such as whatever you want to say it is daily. This could go on and on. There are so many general page influencers. If you're not really sure what it is, an example would be, uh, let's say there's a page for watches daily uh, and dogs daily, cats daily, whatever it is. It's just that these, uh, these pages are not really associated with a direct face or icon. There's no uh, direct person associated with it. It's just uh, blogging or uh, posting pictures and content about a certain product or something in specific so it could be watches it could be cats it could be dogs it could be whatever but this is something that uh, this is a page that people are constantly following and looking to for content and things related to that topic so let's say they followed uh, I love cats daily they're gonna always see these pictures with cats and uh, uh, non-stop no matter what it is uh, usually multiple times a day so then this is where you can come in and you could uh, put your offer on the table for your latest cat t-shirt that cat lovers would absolutely love to purchase. So we can go about this by using canva.com. And uh, we're gonna get into this again later, but first things first, I want to give you an example of a, a seamless personal page feature. So as you can see here, uh, this is Joey Swole. He is a bodybuilder and fitness enthusiast. So what he did here is he took a, uh, a seasoning, it's called Flavor God, 
and he showed uh, his audience exactly how he incorporates it into his daily life. So he mentioned the brand, he tagged the brand, and he incorporated the brand, most importantly. Uh, as you can see, it's in his hand, it's something that he's using, and this is something that his audience is going to look to and try to use because this guy is absolutely crushing it in the world of fitness. He's in amazing shape, so people are going to be looking to Joey for fitness tips and advice and how they could follow in his footsteps. So a great example would be following his diet and what he does to keep his peak fitness. So they're following him for tips and advice on fitness and whatever his diet is, and then they're going to see him utilizing this spice right here, Flavor God, and now they can directly go to Flavor God's page, click through to their link in the description, and purchase it themselves because someone that they look up to, such as Joey Swole, is using it right now, and it's someone that they really trust and have built this connection with because they see that he is absolutely experienced in this field and it's a reliable person to go to for tips and advice. So that is a seamless personal page feature. He was able to put that in, uh, put that ad into his uh, timeline seamlessly and uh, he just represents the brand great. Now this is a general page feature on the other hand. So like I said, just a general page representing a certain piece of content or product, which is watches here. So this is watches of Instagram and now they're saying, don't miss the exclusive offer to get 15% off of all products on danielwellington.com. So there is a picture of the product and it's really shown uh, gracefully. It's they're trying to make it look as best as possible. So it's a unique way to show their product to catch someone's eye. If you're scrolling through your timeline, this is something that might make you stop and say, wow, that's a nice watch. If it's shown like this, it pops out and it stands out and it's going to get people's attention. So as you can see, it mentions the site or the page. They didn't, uh, uh, sorry, they did uh, tag Daniel Wellington directly. So now people can clearly click through uh, to Daniel Wellington's page and then they can go purchase that watch now with a limited time discount. So this is something that's going to get people to take action. It's going to incentivize them to click through to it sooner than later and purchase that watch because they've seen it through this influencer that they follow. And they clearly are passionate or highly interested in watches if they do follow the page watches of Instagram. So now back to canva.com. This is perfect for creating any sort of ad, especially free plus shipping ads. So I'm going to show you guys how I pair it with clipping magic to uh, remove background from a stock image that you may have. So this could apply to anyone at any time. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. And uh, we're going to go over the shoulder right now. And I'm going to show you how to use clipping magic in canva.com. Now this doesn't have to be a free plus shipping campaign. It could be any sort of campaign. But we're just going to do this for sake of example and so you guys could really wrap your heads around the whole idea and how canva.com works. All right, so here we are on aliexpress.com. Now, we're going to just run through an example real quick. So let's say that we had a watch, for example. Let's say this was our product right here. And we didn't like this background that we have. Now, how could we get rid of that without having to uh, get more pictures on hand? So very simply... We're just going to click the picture and then we could drag it to our desktop, which is currently off screen right now. But we have that saved off to the side and then we're going to use clippingmagic.com, which is something that I think is super useful. And you could use this for anything to get rid of any background. So it's going to get the picture here and then we're going to use this green button right here. This brush is going to select everything that we want in the picture. So we want this watch completely in the picture and then what we're going to do is take this red brush right here and we're going to point out everything that we do not want in this very picture so as you can see with that last one it went into the watch a little bit once you look over to the right to the finished product so we could take the green brush and bring that down further and then come back with the red brush and as you can see now, if you want, you could zoom in more and you could get into every single fine detail. But as you can see right here, uh, just to get a general idea of what we're working with, this is what it's going to look like. So now what we would do is we would download the picture and then voila, here we have that. And then we're going to save that off to the side. And now we will take that to canva.com. And now this is where we could create our social media post for an influencer. 
And now we have so many different layouts that we could use and uh, it's a great way to utilize these if uh, you're not sure where to start. So maybe you don't have enough of a creative idea or you're just searching and brainstorming for something to work off of. You could find one of these layouts and you can completely make it your own uh, in accordance to whatever you are offering to your customer base. So that's why I like Canva.com because all of these layouts are free to use and I think that they're all truly amazing uh, layouts. But over here we're going to just go uh, plain Jane for now uh, for sake of example. So here we are going to upload our watch picture that we now have without any background. So as you can see our watch is right here and now we could go over to the text and we could find something that is practical for our business for example so let's say that we were a watch company and we wanted to put the name of our company up here or we could insert our logo for example but for sake of example let's put this um, Let's say our company is NYC Watches. And now with this, let's say maybe we wanted to do a certain type of sale. So up here, we can put something that's going to catch their attention regarding the sale. So maybe it's 25% off. So this is super simple and uh, super simplistic. But if you're really grasping the idea of what we could do here, um, out of all honesty, this is just straight to the point and sharp. It's uh, If you include your logo and some, maybe some more eye-catching colors, this is something that is super easy for anyone to create. As you can tell, we did this in less than five minutes. Uh, and it's super efficient because it's a great way to create content for your products and product pages on Instagram. So this is something that you can give to an influencer to utilize and I mean the options are really limitless you can get as creative as you want uh, there are so many great layouts to work off of and super easy to use and now you can really get very creative and build something that's truly eye-catching for your customers once they are scrolling by uh, your Instagram influencers post or even your own post so as you can see canva.com and clipping magic are two very inexpensive and useful tools for you to use uh, when you're building your Instagram influencer ads along with product pictures and so on uh, so forth uh, like we covered before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you really took a few gold nuggets and ideas on what to do when you're trying to create content for your influencers and Instagram page.